Hi, my name's Karen and I'm one of the midwives at My Expert Midwife. In this video I want to talk about VBAC and the advantages and disadvantages of VBAC and helping you to gain an understanding of VBAC and whether it's the right choice and decision for you. So first of all, what do we mean by VBAC? Well, VBAC is just short for vaginal birth after caesarean section. And it's when a woman has a vaginal birth after previously having either an emergency caesarean section or an elective, which is a planned caesarean section. An emergency caesarean section can um, be performed for a variety of reasons. So it could be abnormalities seen in your baby's heart rate during labour, your labour stalling for various reasons, or rarer complications such as unexpected heavy bleeding either before you start to labour or during labour or problems with your placenta. It's extremely uncommon that your body is not able to birth your baby vaginally and it's usually due to these external environmental or medical factors that you've had your caesarean section. Once you've had a caesarean section you're then classed as high risk due to the scar that you have on your uterus and the potential problems that this is thought to pose. However, once the risks are explained, it's up to you to decide the best way to labour and birth your baby. As long as there are no other medical complications with you or your baby, it is in fact much safer to plan for a vaginal birth, even if you've had up to three previous caesarean sections. The reason for this is because caesarean sections carry a higher risk of increased blood loss, infection rates and possible damage to other organs in the body than vaginal births do. As well as increasing the risks of having problems with your placenta in any future pregnancies. You're also much more likely to find your recovery after vaginal birth is easier and quicker and this can be really helpful if you've got little ones to look after. Um, as well as your newborn baby. For some women, the desire to give birth vaginally is very strong after having a caesarean. It may have been a, uh, a disappointment that their baby needed to be born this way um, before. For other women, there are issues to work through uh, surrounding their previous um, caesarean section and some of them may have ongoing uh, trauma caused by this. And for other women, they may explore um, um, VBAC and find that a repeat cesarean section is the right choice for them. If you feel as though you need a debrief, um, this is where your midwife or your doctor will go through your previous notes and explain the reasons why a cesarean section was recommended um, for you in, your, in, in that birth. And this can help um, um, be a really important way to help you understand those reasons, um, to clarify them and to help you make a decision this time surrounding what type of birth that you, that you want. Independent midwives also offer this service um, and, and they can do a really thorough in, um, um, service with this to explore the reasons around it too. So firstly, what are the risks of um, your having scar rupture during a, um, a vaginal birth after caesarean section? Well, it's around 1 in 200. So you can also spin that around and think, well, you have a 199 chance out of 200 of everything going very smoothly and not having um, any problems with your scar at all. Um, because you are considered higher risk um, during your pregnancy, you're also more likely to be offered interventions. Um, and this will include induction of labour, um, which can also lead to a cascade of interventions. So it's important to think about those things as well when you're thinking of planning for your vaginal birth after caesarean section. And probably want to know now, how can you increase your chances of having a successful vaginal birth after caesarean section? Well, firstly, avoiding any type of induction of labour 
unless there is evidence to suggest you or your baby are at risk from prolonging your pregnancy is um, a good starting point. A labour that starts naturally is less likely to need medical intervention and the Royal College of um, Obs and Gynae also recognises that if you're induced or have your labour augmented, which is um, speeded up after your waters are broken, then your risk of scar rupture increases two to three fold compared to a labour that starts spontaneously. And there's also a 1.5 fold chance of it leading to a repeat caesarean section. So prepare well for your birth. Your hormones will work better if you feel if you feel well informed and confident about your choices and you labour in a place that makes you feel the safest and most comfortable. So yes, think very, uh, very carefully and deeply about where you want to labour and explore those options. We have antenatal classes on choice of place for birth, um, so you can, um, you can look back at those as well. Make a birth plan and make sure that you involve your birth partner and discuss this. Your birth partner is your advocate whilst you're in labour because you'll be busy doing other things. Um, so make sure they know of all your choices and wishes during labour and they're involved in creating that birth plan with you as well. Try and remain as upright and, and active as possible during the first stage or the active stage of labour and um, try and be well hydrated and have snacks to keep your energy up too. You might also want to zone out of things a little bit more and Maybe taking a hypnobirthing course um, will help you to understand this a little bit better and to be able to take control and, and explore breathing techniques as well. An epidural during um, your labour can offer you very good pain relief. However, it will restrict your movement. So see if you can try other forms of pain relief. You can explore those by looking back at our antenatal classes on pain relief as well to see what your options are, are there and try and think of an epidural as something that is there for you, but something that you may need or want um, if you've had other forms of pain relief and that hasn't um, quite hit the spot or worked for you. So remember that if you plan a vaginal birth after a caesarean section, the success rate is usually between 72 and 75% according to the Royal College of Obs and Gynae um, stats. And this increases to between 85 and 90% if you've had previous vaginal delivery before you've had a caesarean section. So the chances are weighted in your favour if you do decide to try for a VBAC.